my name is Natalia and welcome to my little corner of the internet. You've probably never heard of me because I am new to booktube. So what I would like to do in this video is introduce myself a little bit and share with you guys what I am currently reading and I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about these books? Have you read these books? Um, and all that kind of fun stuff. So without more babbling, let's get into the video. The first thing to know is my full name is Natalia, but friends call me Nati for short. I think it's cute, it's bubbly, it goes with my personality. So that's why I used it for my, that's why I used it for my uh, YouTube channel. Second thing to know, I really like pink. <laughs> if you haven't noticed a little bit by my aesthetic, I truly like pink. And you're like, oh, well, I like pink. No. <laughs> Allow me to elaborate. I really, truly love pink. I know she's kind of a pastel pink, but she's still pink. And I love her. Okay, second thing to know, I am a really, really big musical fan. I would say Broadway, but I am a fan as well as things off-Broadway, London theater, yada yada yada. So, musicals in general, um, <laughs> exhibit it. Um, I'll try to include a list right here of all the musicals that I like. Wicked, Dear Evan Hansen, uh, Les Mis, Waitress, Dogfight, which is a really underrated musical if you ask me. But that's not the point. <laughs> I truly enjoy musicals of any kind. <laughs> Hamilton. Goes without mentioning, but still I want to mention it. Hamilton. Don't ask me to rap. I can't. I can't rap. Guns and ships. Moving on. <laughs> Number three. The main genres that I like to read are romance, science fiction, which I'm trying to get a bit more into, but adventure, um, all that kind of, I guess, rosy, pinky stuff, no pun intended, <laughs> very sweet. The main reason why I read is to escape this world. And although I'm very much aware that there are situations and a lot of different things, a lot of great things, a lot of bad things, a lot of in-between things that happen in the world, I am not the biggest fan of that because I firmly believe that when reading, you shouldn't feel sad or bad. <laughs> I know that's a really simple explanation, but when I like to read, I like to be in a magical, mystical place. I don't want to be reminded of the hardships that are the world, because since we can't control the world, why not control the ones that we read? That's just my hypothesis, my opinion. Thing number four to know about me, I am Puerto Rican. I am from La Isla del Encanto, which means the enchanted city. Um, I'm very proud to be, so I point I point this out because if either in this video or in future videos I switch out to Spanish, I apologize in advance. <laughs> that just means I'm passionate about what I'm talking about. Um, and if I ever say something in Spanish, I will put the little word, Natalia, captions down here <laughs> so everyone can understand what I'm saying. Current reads, currently reading, let's cut into that. Let's go. Rereading Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I'm pretty sure this is the fourth or fifth time I'm rereading this book. Um, I just love it. It's a very wholesome and beautiful story with very flawed and real characters that come from places and situations that are not exactly ideal, but they find a way to make their path a happy and exciting one and there's a strong female lead she's a young girl I don't want to spoil it <laughs> but she's been living in this kind of situation her entire life and one day she decides that that's not what she wants to be doing anymore so she decides to take her life into her own hands and it is beautiful and it is strong and it is just beautiful writing um, it's not 
super wordy as in you'll often see kind of drawings and things like that throughout the book so it's not like a super heavy book if that makes sense it's a very quick read and I love that's the first one I am rereading next I read I already read this book but great and I will start rereading it soon House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin Craig I <laughs> This book is actually a little bit out of my comfort zone, I guess, if you can see it doesn't go with the color scheme, of course, but this one is a retelling of the Twelfth Dancing Princesses, and it's told in a more gothic way, and if you will, a more PG-13 way, if you will. Um, we follow Annalie, who is a sister of the Twelfth, however, a few of them have died by the point the book starts. So we kind of follow that mystery of what is happening with the deaths. Most believe it is a curse because a lot of the sisters keep dying constantly. It deals with adventure. It deals with ghosts. It deals with mythology. It deals with... It's not gory. It's a little haunting at parts, um, a little mysterious. And I think that was super cool. Not only... So I picked it up not only because... I grew up with the Twelve Dancing Princesses, so I think that's something that's really, really cool. I also was drawn to said mysterious stranger in this book and his interactions with Annalie and the sisters, which are just... <laughs> I will take a Cassius any day. But. It is such a cool book, and I was drawn to it because of the romance, not gonna lie, and the idea of the Twelfth Dancing Princesses, but it is so good. I'm not a big fan of, like, mystery or horror, and the enchanting part got me so well. I was drawn to this. I think I read this in about four days. I'm not the fastest reader, but that's, that's fast for me, so it is so good, and... It kept me, at least, guessing every time there was a point where I was, I think, halfway through the book, and I just, I was in my living room, and I was just going, but this character, and that, and it's this, and just forming theories in my head, which, by the way, none were correct, but it was still fun to try to connect the dots in my head, and what I thought an event was, near the end of the book, they explained what it was, and as absolutely not what I was expecting. It was like the turns, the mystery, the murder, the romance, the mythology. <laughs> Y'all, please do yourself a favor. Pick it up. If it's your thing, if it sounds interesting. Anyway, so this following book I picked up on a whim. I did not know what it was about and I was actually in uh, Barnes & Noble and I was book shopping and I looked up and this book had been placed. Y'all, I'm short. I'm five feet with the appropriate shoes. So, so this book was placed about at my eye level. And I was like, huh, that's really pretty. And I picked it up and there was no other book behind it. Like it was just left there. And I was like, this is a sign from the book gods. They want me to take this book home. Also... The aesthetic of it. Can we just appreciate the aesthetic of it? Come on. We have the peachness and just the long braid and ugh, this ugh. So the title of the book is Rogue Princess by B.R. Myers and even in the front it says the fate of the world rests on her choice. Come on. So I picked it up mainly because mainly because it was pink. Please don't judge me. It was a pretty book. It has a princess on the title and on the cover. I wanted to pick it up. <laughs> Long story short, um, it is a retelling of Cinderella in a sci-fi way. However, I have been having a little bit of a hard time getting into it. I don't know if that's because when I started it, I was probably, I was doing errands, I was doing other things, and my mind just wasn't fully into it. Um, so far, I know that our main love interest, his name is Aiden, 
and I know that she and Aiden are running away. By the way, these aren't spoilers. Uh, you can find that out in the back. And you, we know that pretty soon in the book, in the first one or two chapters. Um, but I've been having a, a little bit of a hard time. However, I want to give it a chance so bad. It is such a pretty book, and I want to experience this, like, badass female saving her planet and saving her kingdom doing what she wants so if any of you have read it let me know what you thought of it um without spoilers please um let me know what you thought of it if keeping in the theme with the aesthetic <laughs> right um because why not <laughs> is once and future this is kind of a retelling yeah it's a retelling as well don't judge me please i like fairy tales so this one is a retelling of king arthur however in this one ba 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 king arthur is a strong female lead Woo! is a woman do do you see the the pink so it deals with, I believe, a certain system of magic. We still have Merlin being her guide, so I think that's really cool. I'm pretty sure that in this world, it's still very much run by men, and men don't believe that she could be the king or that she could rule because she's a female and all these things. So I think it's a really, really interesting story to see what's going to happen with her uphill climb journey and to just have her be like this badass female in, in the end or in the beginning I don't care <laughs> I want her powerful self to come through so again have you read this have you heard of this tell me what you thought of it so I'm excited to start this one I gotta say I'm a little disappointed to say that without the dust jacket it is still black although I love the pink right there and on the inside of the dust jacket, it does kind of give us the preview in pink. I think that's really cool. I think that's it. No, last but not least, I am so, so sad that I don't have a physical copy of this. But bookstores being closed and everything, I'm trying to keep my distance, etc., etc. We are in a pandemic after all, sadly. But I had seen this book before, but... I was intimidated by its size, I'm not gonna lie. The cover was beautiful. The cover is blue and golden and it has a moth on the front. Let me know if you know where I'm going with this. Um, so the book is called Strange the Dreamer and sadly I have it on Kindle. I know, it is so sad. So I've heard a lot about this book uh, from a couple of different booktubers but the one that's most present in my mind right now is books with chloe i follow her and she has a beautifully aesthetic channel anyway she talked a lot about this book and i thought well okay that's cool that's another like very hyped book um but she started quoting the book in this little like heart-shaped um board that she has and the quotes convinced me I am such a sucker for quotes and dreams and just these characters that have these ideals and these these ideals, these dreams that are so much bigger than life. And it 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 sold me. It it just I was sold. So I had to I was watching a vlog of her and I had to I had to buy it on the weekend and start it out. And I have gotten fairly far so according to the tablet right what not a tablet so according to the kindle i am 27 percent of the way again pardon me i'm not the fastest reader but i am enjoying it so so much and for those of you who haven't heard of it the book is about this young character named this young librarian uh, whose name is Laszlo Strange. He doesn't really know his parents and the name is kind of built. Um, you get to know that in the in the story. But long story short, he has been forever dreaming of finding and knowing and learning more about the lost city of Weep. And 
although he doesn't consider himself like a great explorer he's like well i'm never gonna get there but i might as well do all my research and that'll satisfy my hunger spoiler it doesn't Ugh. spoiler it doesn't so through a twist of events he finds other characters in the book that in their own way want to go and need to go to the city of weep which is in danger but not in danger it has a problem that doesn't present danger to the city but they need all these characters to go all these different characters that don't know each other go to this lost city does this sound like an idea on a movie that you love that's right! You guessed it! It sounds very much like Atlantis. And it kind of is in a way. It has that whole Atlantis feel. Um, it has all the same magical elements. It has mythology. It has lost languages. It has all this fun stuff. Um, however, it has probably a few more characters than the Atlantis movie does. But it's... <laughs> if you want to experience Atlantis in a more adult way please pick up strange the reader it is what not the reader he he does read a lot though strange the dreamer there we go <laughs> strange the dreamer it's beautiful it's beautifully written i found myself like highlighting passages which you could i didn't know you could highlight on a kindle that's that's awesome i found myself highlighting a couple of passages that i just felt they were so well written and i was like I need a moment to internalize how beautiful this, what's the word I'm looking for? Metaphor, Met metaphor, there we go. <laughs> I need a moment to internalize how beautiful this metaphor is. So, such a fun read, so, so beautiful, so fun. Wrapping up the current reads and rereads of the summer are these these lovely things okay so for my august tbr i have about four books and a series i don't promise that i'll read them all but they're there like the interest and the love is there i'll eventually get to them i know this hopefully if you follow me you will see me read them all so first and foremost is the tea dragon society because I've seen it in a couple of reading vlogs. It looks so cute and I am definitely here for cute animated stories. Cute comics? No. Graphic novels. I am here for cute graphic novels. I also saw that there is a pink haired character and I want to know who she is. Also, I saw that there is a little glossary in the back for the different tea dragons. Um, the next one is, I believe it's a duology and I've had my eye on it. I want to say for a little over a year now. <laughs> a little over a year. The, the first book is called The Daughter of the Pirate King and the second one is called Daughter of the Siren Queen. Let me know if you've read them and if there are more books let me know if i'm missing something but i am very very excited to read them so the story in case is this young she's not a queen if anything she's a princess god natalia she in cases she in who natalia <laughs> story consists of the daughter of the pirate king no surprise there but she is a strong female captain of her own ship of her own crew who is mostly if not all i believe female long story short because of the plot in the book she lets herself another pirate captain and she lets him believe that she's been trapped and that she can't get out so in order to make sure she doesn't escape um this a uh, rival captain sets his second in command to keep an eye on her who just happens to be young and tall and have green eyes but you know psh, whatever 
<laughs> and it's kind of this beautiful rivalry, this like witty back and forth. And you can tell it's like a hate to love story and all with like a strong female lead and adventures and pirates and, and it's a beautiful world. It's done very, very well. I believe the book is 200 or so, 300 or so pages. So it's not that long. So I am excited to get my hands on it very soon. The covers are so beautiful. Did I mention our lead is also a redhead? I don't know why that just makes it exciting. I think she's British or Irish, something like that. I'll look more into that. Next on my TBR is, please do not judge me on this. I, it took me a while. Okay, the Percy Jackson series. I know, hold the phone, stop everything. I'm a bookworm and I've never read Percy Jackson. I know, I know. See, here's the thing. I'm poor. <laughs> so long story short, when I was younger, I saw the collection, hardcover collection to be specific, in Borders when I was younger and I went to uh, Borders back when it existed in Puerto Rico with my dad. And I saw the books and I fell in love and I wanted to buy them so bad, but being hardcover and being, I believe there's five books. Sorry if I'm mistaken. I believe there's five books and we just didn't really have the money for that. So I bid them adieu and I kind of went on in life. I kept reading, but I kind of went on in life and then, <laughs> and then Harry Potter came in. <laughs> So I'm so sorry if my attentions got deterred, but I promise I want to read Percy Jackson. Um, I actually love the musical, um, The Lightning Thief. I'm also a really, really big fan of Greek mythology. You should check out the musical, even if you don't like musicals, even if you don't like Percy Jackson. The music is bop. If you like TikTok, you're gonna like the musical. I'll just leave that there. The 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 songs are so boppy. They're so so good. I think it's really fun that I've never read them because since I started a booktube channel, I can hopefully do a vlog while I'm reading them and you guys can get to see my reaction firsthand to everything that happens. So I think that'll be really, really fun. I'm excited to fall in love with these characters. Like it's the first time. I'm ignoring the fact that the movies exist. I will try my best to not picture Logan Lerman's face on Percy. Anyway, so that is what I have to share for now. Let me know your thoughts. I plan to have an Instagram related to the book channel. So I will link that down below. I appreciate your comments and what you thought, book recommendations and all that fun stuff. Hopefully, I will see you guys soon in the next video I make. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Bye!